Okay, my recording device has been acting up for the last while. I think it actually, weirdly enough, I think it's if my charger is plugged into my laptop. I don't know if it overheats or what the crack is, but then it seems to be weird. Outside out! Oh no, quickly, quickly! Oh, so you're just a bunch of racists. Don't look safe for me, Sia. We're running out of time, they're coming! Fine, fine, oh! Screwed over by my own brother. Where are you going? Don't leave me. Amitya, come here. This. There you are. I found this, so you can climb up. Well done. I'll get it to fall. Watch out. What am I hitting? I don't. Oh, I see. Hi. Come on. Help me out, little bro. Come on, come on. I'm in trouble, and also her neck almost broke when I hit the way she looked around. Well done. Scared. I'm sorry about the letter. It's my fault. You were right. We need to go home. We can't. Not without Laurentius. Oh yeah, Laurentius. He's in this village, isn't he? I thought we were just passing through. That woman was a complete bitch, Amicia, though. You know, she saw a bunch of. Well, where the hell are they? Conrad, the bitch. We've surrounded the area. They were here a few minutes ago. The two of you surrounded the whole area. Get out of here. Call the others and get those alleys blocked. If I catch those brats, I send them back to hell. My feet. They won't get out of here alive. I'm thinking Conrad is a bit of a Charles Dickens. <laughs> Come on. With emphasis Conrad on the. Conrad lost oh. his mind when his Look kid out. died. We have to burn innocent people, chase kids. Meanwhile, this thing makes too much noise. You're right. I bet they came out of the church with the rest of that skull. Hey! He goes to check that out. We slip down this way. Get ourselves into some long grass. In fact, we get our way on. Why is this grass even growing? The I mean, I'm not complaining. It's very, very convenient, but like, almost too convenient, you know? All right, so I already have a pot in my inventory. All right, so we gotta distract that guy with a pot. No, wrong button. We want that. So I'm thinking if we fling that over that way, get him the hell out of our sight. I did hear something. I know I did. And replace our pot inventory. Fuck! Well, so much for Metal Gear Solid mode. That's not ruined. For one glorious moment, we had some bit of stealth going on, though. Keep moving through this way. Uh, oh, window! Off you go, little man. Open it for me. Right. See you later, little squish. Don't let me down. Can you unblock it? I'm trying. Hurry! Use your Hugo, muscles, little bro. Hugo, he's here. Hugo, do something! Run! I told you. Oh, oh, good man. Stop, Amicia. <laughs> oh, please, we've got to carry on. Just a little further. Jeez, I was on edge there. I was ready to be like, right, I gotta pull out my sling. A dead end. We're finished. It's fine. Don't be afraid. Come in. Finally, somebody who's not a complete and utter bitch cow. Shh. The most part of the village. Where are they? Listen. We'll tell Conrad we lost them. I'm not staying here. Shh. I'm not saying yes, a thing. No. You're safe. They'll never come looking for you here. You're soaking. There are clothes you can change into upstairs. In a chest in the bedroom. Ah. Uh, are you sure? Thank you. 
Escape the villagers. Done. Take the clothes from the chest on the upper floor. I love the lighting. Do you know the light that gets projected from the fire? Look at it like it looks like a nice warm glow. You're also a very nice lady. Extremely trusting. I mean, not only did you save our lives, and that frankly is more than enough and probably above and beyond the Call of Duty, I also like the fact that you're also like, eh, and also there's some clothes. Why not? Take some. You look to be about my size. Alright, we'll head on up. Get ourselves a change of cloths. Even though I, can't, I think what she's wearing, I think what Amicia is wearing right now looks awesome. <sighs> That's better. What about you? We have to go and find Mommy Amicia. Uh, not yet. She told us to find Laurentius. But that's silly! We're going to get caught! Hugo! We're going to do what she told us and that's it! Hugo, wait! <sighs> Alright, much as I liked what she was wearing, this does look kind of badass. Like, it's a pretty badass getup. I'm starting to think old grandma downstairs is actually a bit of a, uh, a bit of a bandit, you know? Kind of a highwayman. Incense. The same as mother used to use. Or is she or auntie? Now, to be fair, I can say Amicia is wrong to stick to their mother's plan, because Lady Beatrice seemed like somebody who knew what she was about. You know, she seemed to have her head together. They fit you. Good. They belonged to my grandchildren. Oh. My, my name is Clairvy. I'm Amicia. Uh, and this is Hugo. Say thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Clovy, what is happening here? The... the plague. So many people dead. And those still alive have... But where are your parents? At home. They're waiting for us. We're looking for a doctor. Laurentius. A doctor? Perhaps... A, a man did come and help at the hospice early on. The monks might be able to tell you more, but... What? They haven't been seen recently. No one goes near the church anymore. It's all we have. We must go and see. You'll die there. But no one listens to old Clary anymore, so... Anyway, I see you have a sling. You're going to need it. But it'll be no use to you in that state. Go to the backyard. You'll find some new strips of leather there. And feel free to use the workshop in the next room for your repairs. That's very kind of you. Feel free to use the tools by the workshop. I will indeed, but for now, thank you all for watching, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies. We'll pick this up in our next video. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. It is a great game, so I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes.